Yo, what is up guys? My name is Rhino Gaming and I'm back for another video. So, as you can see here, we have got a stacked item shop. And this item shop came just last night, for my time, where we got the X-Force outfits. So, here we have in the bundle, we have Psylocke, the Shuriyuki back bling, Domino, the Domino pack, Cable, and the Cable cloak. So, you have the option to buy them in a bundle. The real price was 3000 for the bundle. 4500 is just the cost of all these separately. Which, if you like at least two of these skins, I highly recommend it. Because if you were to just like two of them, you'd be spending 3000 for them separately. Which is the same cost as bundle. So, you'd be left with one for free. So, you might as well just get the bundle. Although, if you just like one of them, you can either get Psylocke, uh, Domino, or Cable. So... Here they have all three in their own slots with their items. As you can see, I bought the whole thing. And you also got the gear bundle with the Psy Blade, the Psy Rider, the Probability Dagger, and the Unstoppable Force. Really cool. That's a steal for your money. If you like these items, I highly recommend it. But for now, we're going to focus on the skins and the back blings. So since we bought everything, what I like to do is I want to find combos for all of the skins and their back blings. I know that Pizza has already done this, and I'm a bit late, and because they already came out like 10 hours ago, but still better late than never, and I'd like to try and go a bit more in-depth with these. So starting off here with Psylocke, as you can see, she's a... Uh... Okay, I don't know much about the X-Force characters, but if you watched my ranking video, this one was my favourite among the X-Force skins. I think she looks very clean, I love that violet robe, the contrast between ultraviolet and black or blackish purple i think that looks really nice and very clean and a back bling the shuriyuki it's actually very nice i love the way it's attached to it i love how interactive it is and i love the color scheme okay so what we're going to do is we're going to show you some combos with the skin and some combos with the back bling so let's get to it all right so starting off with the back blings the first one we have is the dark deflector so keep in mind, some of these backlinks might look a bit weird in the locker because of her stance, but this one, this is just a simple purple one you could wear, especially if you want to add some white to it to go with the black or very dark purple, whatever it is. But still, it looks good. Uh, the high caliber, I've got the silver style because there's a tinge of purple in there. It makes it a bit lighter. And yeah, I think they look good. Uh, shackled stone, obviously, because you've got the purple. Goes very well with the hair. Looks great. And it reacts. Uh, the Dark Shield, you can use the Dark Series back blings or the Dark Six String. I really like the Dark Six String because the strings go very well with that robe. And I really like this back bling. Uh, we have the Wild Cube, just similar to uh, the Shackled Stone, but more interactive and a bit bulkier. I like the Shackled Stone a little bit more, but still, if you have the Dark Series bund if you have the Dark Series or the Dark Fire Pack, you can definitely use any of these. Nosh, I just equipped this half as a joke, but yeah, you could very much wear it on it. Uh, the Infatuation Pack, the purple one, looks great. The purple inside goes well with her clothes, and that little purple heart in the center goes well with the robe. Uh, eggshell, the dark style, of course. Uh, Coven Cape, if you want to wear a cape on her, this is the perfect one. It's got the black, and the purple inlay goes very well with that purple robe she's wearing. Uh, back beats, got the purple and the black. The little bit of blue on top might be a little bit of a stretch, and you could balance it off with a blue pickaxe, but other than that, it looks really good. Uh, this is what she came with. We'll get to combos with that in a second. Star Shot, I like how interactive it is. I think it looks really good. Star Field, I just love this back bling. Goes well, makes her sort of out of space themed a little bit. And the blue could sort of contrast well with the uh, dark blue slash dark purple black clothing she's wearing. And of course, you've got the vial on there. It looks really good. Stitches, obviously. Dark Hatchling, this looks good. If you want to use the other style, that could work too. Again, purple back bling looks really cool. Uh, Jeweled Cat, I know this is a DC-themed back bling, but if you can accept the fact of wearing a DC-themed back bling on a Marvel outfit, this can look really good. I really like this back bling. And finally, we have the Containment Unit, which actually surprised me. I don't know what it is. Maybe I like you having a bit of white on my back bling, like on the Dark Deflector, because there's mostly dark colours on her. And of course, you've got the dark pink on there, and the baby nosh hanging off of it. Alright, so now that we've covered the skin, let's look at some... Of the back bling let's cover the back bling so here we are we have some skins to go with the back bling we have calamity i selected the purple for her uh we can go over lower stages that looks good that looks good yeah i think these look good i mean keep in mind it is, does glitch a little bit through that um 
thing she's wearing on her back, but still, if you can get over that, it looks good. And that sort of X symbol kind of goes well with the silver reflection that's on her, the silverish purple reflections on her cloak. Dark Vertex, if you have this, sure, why not? Tempest, again, why not? Dark Bomber, you can wear this on any of the Dark Series outfits. I think Dark Bomber and the Dark Red Knight look great with it. This is what it came with. Night Witch, not many people have it, and but she is very universal, and this back bling is no exception. Lace, just like the back bling, does glitch through her hood just a little bit, but if you can go with that, handle that, it goes very well. Infinity looks really good, really like this combo here. Heyman actually surprised me. Again, the uh, part where it's hanging off does glitch a little bit through the straw, but I kind of like that because it kind of sits on him nicely, and if you can get over that, then... This is actually a very good combo. He doesn't have much purple on him, and I'd like the purple to pop out on him. It doesn't match the theme, but in terms of the way it looks, I think it looks aggressive. Dusk looks great with it. That's a very nice combo. Even though I don't use this skin, that could be a very cool combo. Uh, Bash, I got the dark style. Uh, the militia, you could also use this style. That looks really good. The militia style, uh, no. Uh, Sanctum, the male version of Dusk. Yep, looks good on him too. Synapse, not this style. The default style. She doesn't have a real lot of purple on her. She's got more white than purple. So you can make the purple bounce off a little bit. It's not an exact match, but and it's a little bit of a stretch, but I still think it looks really good on her. Synapse, very underrated skin. Dark Triceratops, again, looks really good. Other style, eh. I like it on this one more because it makes the purple pop out more because it has less purple on it, the skin. Asmodeus, very interesting skin and an interesting combo. I like that. Dream... Very, very popular skin. So, this back bling. I love the way this looks on her. This is probably my favourite. This one, along with Infinity and Heyman. And finally, World Warrior. So, as you can see, this back bling and this skin are pretty universal, as long as you have a few purple or dark purple or even some pink outfits. And I would say this is still my favourite skin out of the three. But now we got to move on to the next outfit, which is Domino. And I'll be right back. All right, so next up, we have the Domino outfit. And this outfit... I must say, looks very clean in game. I was already looking forward to this outfit along with others, but when I see it in game, I thought she was wearing a mask, as I said in my ranking video, but no, she's just wearing face paint. But I love the way the face paint contrasts with her hair. She's got that white strip in her hair. Then there's the black or very dark green. That bit of detail on her top, the little holes in her, the white part, and the color scheme is very unique, and I really like it. It just means that there aren't a real lot of back blings of this color scheme, so don't expect it to be as universal as Psylocke, but we definitely did find a few. And I think I actually found more for this back bling than I did with the skin, which we'll get to in a bit. But I love this back bling. But first, we'll start with the skin. So the shield glitches through her arms. Don't worry about that. I wanted to try some Frozen series back blings. You could definitely do it. Uh, the Fusion Orb, I really like this one. The black goes with her hair and that orb. Uh, Ice Mantle, I think the silver looks good. The blue, okay, but yeah, I'm going to go with silver. Deadpool's Katana's because they go with everything and because she's part of the same series. Uh, Backbeat, but this time the green style, I think that one looks good on her. The green almost goes well with the teal that's on her, and of course you've got the white. And that part on the top, that blue part, is not a ruiner. Uh, Ghost Portal, green style, uh, blue. Uh, yeah, that looks good too, but I'd go with the green. Uh, dry bag looks aggressive, but the teal or turquoise is there. Chuck pack, I just love this back bling. The black, the blue doesn't exactly match, but it's very aggressive. It goes with an aggressive thing. Uh, Batman cape, if you just wanted to wear any cape, this would be the one. And it's a bit glitched, as you can see. Shining star, if you wanted to wear one of these simple holographic back blings, you can. I chose the rainbow clover because even though there's no green on the outfit, if you wanted to wear green, make it pop out with a back bling like this. You can, and because I think people would want to see this back bling. Uh, Nibbles, this style looks good. It's just that little bit of orange. And the black and white looks pretty decent too. Yeah. Uh, the butterfly, the flutter wings, the blue goes very well. It's just that gold, but still you could handle it. Um, the Puma pack, the green or alter ego style looks very good. Shattered wing, of course. And the spectral spine, probably my favorite. Nice, simple back bling. And it sits on her nicely and it goes well with her. All right, now... Let's move on to this back bling. And like I said, I do really like this back bling. I think it's very clean. I love the way it looks. I love the shotguns in it with the shells. How symmetrical is it? It is. So starting off with the Frozen Red Knight, I actually think this looks really good. 
there's not that much black on the skin, but the teal goes very well with the teal on her and the white as well. Frozen Nogops, again, Frozen Ninja. That teal goes very well with the color of his hair and it's got the black as well and the white. I mean, there's no white on Ninja, but I think this actually looks good. This is what it came with. Uh, Slurp Jonesy. I actually did have a lot of fun finding combos for this back bling, more so than the skin. I do really like the skin, but I do think this is my favorite back bling of the three of the X-Series. Limelight, she's got a little bit of that blue there and the black. I like it. Focus, she's got that blue on her arms. It's kind of a stretch, but I think it looks really good. And I also chose her because we chose to wear her back bling on the skin. Flutter, because it's got the blue and the black. Looks really good. Adds some aggression to her. Cryptic, yep. Breakpoint, even though the skin's interactive, I think the blue on her arms goes almost perfectly with the teal on the guns, the black as well, and the white sort of contrasts well with that bright color she's got on the skin. Synapse, again, with the default style. Yeah, it looks all right. It's a stretch though. Payback, the blue goes very well with her blue hair. Or now when I'm wearing this on her, I used to think the blue in her hair is blue, but it's probably more turquoise. But nah, this looks really good. Surf Ride, this is probably my favorite. The blue almost goes well with the blue on her, the black, and because her wrap, the wetsuit, goes very well with the skin, I think this is a really cool back to wear with her, and I'm definitely going to be wearing this. Volley Girl, looks really good. Uh, Wave Breaker, yes, because it's got the turquoise. Uh, Bolts, kind of a stretch, but it's there. And Whistle Warrior, if you just wanted a black and white skin, because there's Back bling's black, white, and turquoise. If you wanted to add a color, you certainly could. And now that now we've covered Domino and the Domino pack, let's move on to the third and final skin, the Cable. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so just as I was finding combos for Cable and his cloak, the item shop reset, and we got two other new skins. And if you guys saw my ranking video, Siren was the one I was looking forward to the most. And the last kiss. They look dope. And just while I was making combos with these skins, we get another skin that I really want. So stay tuned for combos for this skin, guys. That's going to be coming soon. But for now, we're going to do some combos with the... Sorry, I had the wrong skin equipped. With the Cable skin. So the reason I had another skin equipped is because... I'll show you in a bit. You'll see in a bit. So... With this cape, when you put it on other skins, it sort of glitches over them, and the only way to fix it is equip it on another skin and then get out of it. But still, first with Cable. So I would say, yes, this is my least favorite skin of the three, but even so, I do really like some of these backlinks, like this one. Just because, yeah, the colors go well, and because if you're gonna use a bulky skin like this, why not put a bulky-ass backling on? <laughs> the E-Limb actually surprised me, and it counts your eliminations. Gauge as well, if you wanna wear a small backling, and also count your E-Limbs. But again, if you want to be a sweat to show all your e limbs, probably you're not probably going to be you're not really going to be wearing this skin. I don't think. Hot wing, yes. Radiant mantle, yeah, that looks good. It's got a bit of red on the those um, grenades, whatever there is on a shoulder pad. It looks awesome. This is what it comes with. Cable cloak. This is the hood up. I'm going to wear the hood down personally. Uh, hench hauler, the uh, default style because it's bulky and it goes well with them. Um, flame sigil, just because um, you can wear this with anything, but I like wearing it on skins where it doesn't stretch over their backs, and this one it does not. It's kind of there, and I like it. Feel on fun, yes, this looks good. The shadow and the default basically exactly the same, although the shadow might be a teensy bit darker. No, I don't know. And the gold, I don't have it yet. And blazing buckler, just because the big shield, he's got the blue on it, and the brown, looks really good. Adventure pack, the uh, default style, yeah, that looks okay. Jedi Order, if you can handle wearing a Star Wars backling on a Marvel skin. There's a small, it looks good. Kunai Shield, again, a bulky shield. The green, the teal at the bottom is a bit of a stretch and might go with uh, um, Domino. But still, you can wear on him. Signal Hub, I really like this. The yellow will look a bit better, probably, when it glows. And finally, we have the Tackle Box. Again, the yellow. The green's a tiny bit of a stretch. It's got a pistol in it. I like this one. Okay, now moving on to the cloak. I thought this was going to be kind of fun finding skins with. And while I did find a few, it was kind of hard. And I'll show you with this glitch. So, yeah, you need to equip it on the skin to get rid of that glitch. Otherwise, it's going to be going over them. So, first, we have Gold Lux. I don't know why, but I like the way it looks. The brown, I know, mixed with her skin color and that gold on the top looks really good, in my opinion. Ultima Knight, again, I like this. I like the way a cape looks on him. Star Lord, because it's another Marvel outfit. That strap on his arm glitches through it a tiny bit, but if you can handle that, this is a pretty fine combo. Grim Fable, this one looks really good. 
um, the no hat. This one looks better because it's got her hair. And I like wearing a back bling on this style. Whereas on this style, I'd rather not wear a back bling. So yeah, that looks good. The uh, NFL, I chose the... Uh, I chose the Buccaneers, but you could also do the Redskins. I don't know much about NFL, guys, so you can pick your poison with that one. Blue Squire actually surprised me, and Royale Knight as well, but I didn't equip her. Sergeant Green Clover, the brown goes well, and it's got the gold on her leg, which you can just see because of that rips on the cape, which is probably my favorite part about this cape. I like the way it's ripped. Gives it a bit more character. Aura, not this style. The Winter Hunter. This one looks really good. This one's probably one of my favorites, along with Grim Fable. I really like that one. Seawolf? Sure, why not? And Scimitar. Um, let's try the hood up. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that's all the combos. So, tell me what you guys think. So, tell me what, guys, what your favorite combo was, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like, show some support. Also, if you're going to buy any of these, use my career code RhinoGamingYT. Until then, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.